In this video, I'll be going over blocking and stratification and what are the basic differences between the two perspectives. There's a lot of people who will look at these two subjects and get confused on which one is which, mostly because they sound a lot alike, depending on what you're talking about. Blocks and strata can both be the same thing. It's just how do you understand them in terms of blocking? How do you understand them in terms of stratification? And that's what this video is going to go over in a very light take. I will be making a video for each one of them separately to deep dive into what each one is. This video is really just a comparison, understanding the different perspectives between the two. The first one we're gonna go into is blocking, and that's actually from the perspective of designing experiments. The point of blocking is to account for natural variability. One example is looking at grade levels in schools. So say you wanna do a, a, a experiment where you're asking a survey in a middle school and you might expect sixth, seventh, and eighth graders to answer differently. Well, instead of just taking the school as a whole, you can now look at each level and get more accurate with what each level is going to do. This allows also for you to be able to compare, say, other schools if you had school A and school B, you can compare sixth graders to each, seventh graders to each, and then ultimately you could compare the school as a whole. Another example is male and female. So you would expect, for example, if you're doing a vaccine, you want to compare ma males and females as opposed to just the population because there may be some reaction that a male has that a female doesn't have or vice versa. That way you're accounting for the natural variability between the sexes in how that vaccine is. Whenever you're setting up a design for an experiment, you take into account these factors and that's essentially what blocking is. They'll be obvious usually and uh, you'll be able to categorize people into those blocks in their totality. Obviously you wouldn't have someone in sixth grade and seventh grade. Now stratification is sampling and what it does is it tries to reduce variability so instead of accounting for natural variability because we're talking about sampling you're trying to reduce variability usually by a type of sampling method the sampling methods are usually a comparison to simple random sampling stratification typically has in mind something that you're looking for in particular and that a simple random sample just simply doesn't account for and there are various ways that works. So before we go on, I just wanted to emphasize that a, a block can be a strata, a strata can be a block, but the sampling is really where it comes down to. It's not just simply the designation, it's what you're doing. So the first example is a population or proportional sample where you're uh, setting up certain strata based off the population. So instead of just doing a thousand people randomly, you'd wanna do a percentage based stratification sample that reflects what demographics are in the population whether that be male female race you know pick something like as long as you can put people into those strata pretty easily uh, that shouldn't be a problem uh, another example is an oversample into a minority population so say you're trying to focus on how say a virus you know we'll take the current situation going on. You have a virus and you want to see how it, 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 it is in a minority population and say that minority population is only like one or two percent. Well, instead of doing a proportional population based sampling method, you would want to do an oversample for that population so you can get what's going on. Because if you said, if you just did like a thousand random samples, you might get 10 people from that population, but you wanna find out more because what you're particularly looking for is how the interactions are within that minority population with the virus. And so like that's, that's what you're looking for and you wanna oversample to see that variability as opposed to see um, you know maybe a, just a handful. Stratification in terms of its comparison is really much, is very much in terms of comparing to simple random sampling, not blocking. So you're modifying the sample so that you're appropriately finding out and teasing out information that a simple random sample 
might not be able to do on its own. If you found this to be helpful, please like and subscribe. And if you can, share this with maybe your classmates. And uh, this might be a nice little cheat sheet in terms of your classes or if you're just revisiting this because you've studied it and it's been a while. You know, I hope this was helpful. Uh, you know, thank you for watching the video and uh, stay nerdy, my friends.